What's up, everybody? What's up? I'm very tired. We're doing this one late at night. My apologies if I'm not as high energy as I used to be, uh, but it, it is literally 12, 12 a.m. and I got classes tomorrow and I'm tutoring someone, but I just realized that I had no videos lined up and I don't want to break my daily upload schedule. So we're going to be doing this video where I'm using this Dunsparce team that I built on stream a little while ago and I used it um, in a stream highlights video, but I never really used it in a proper showdown live. So today we're gonna to be using a Screech Helping Hand Rock Slide Dunsparce uh, next to Calyrex Ice, which it underspeeds Calyrex Ice by a little bit, allowing you to go for Screech or Rock Slide plays in Trick Room. Of course, Serene Grace Rock Slide has a very, very high chance to flinch, 60% in fact, so they do not like it when Dunsparce is able to do that. We have a Mystic Water Kyogre, you know, just very lazily put together team, but it works, you know, we got Mimic you with the Mental Herb, Disguise, Trick Room. We got Safety Goggles and Center Room. We got Amoongus with a Koba Berry and a very lazy EV spread. This is going to be a funny team. I think this is going to be a funny team. Obviously, you know, I'm not as high energy today. We're not as high on the ladder. So I'm going to say um, I'd recommend this video for anyone who uh, is just trying to relax. Put the sun in the background while you do some homework. That's why I'm up so late. In fact, I was doing some quantum physics homework. Um... But yeah, I guess that's gonna be the question of the day. Uh, what is the hardest course you have ever taken in your life, whether it be in high school or college or wherever, let me know. And let's go ahead and get into it. Leave a like if you enjoy, and uh, we'll do this. Where is the team? I already lost it. What was the name of the team? Um, Dunsparce, Dunsparce, where are you, you stupid little, you stupid little dirt rat? I've already lost the team. Oh, I just scrolled past it. There it is, Dunce. I, I, I was like, I gotta name this so I can actually find it in like my team selection screen. There we go. Let's get some games. Might be like a super hype session where we like win a lot. Might be a game where we win like none of them. Let's see how it goes. All right. You know, it's funny. Um, I just uploaded a video where I faced off against um, a Persian. And also I know, um, what's his name? Uh, the main event, Poke main event. Great content creator. He actually made a Persian team recently. Uh, this is kind of a bad matchup for Calyrex Ice, to be honest. <laughs> I don't really see much you can do here, um, unless I get this Trick Room off. But that uh, Persian's going to be really annoying for me. Of course, the natural bulk on that thing, thanks to its ability, uh, will make it so Calyrex Ice probably can't one-shot it. But I think I can get my Trick Room off um, if I do this. Uh, and, you know, we're going to go... I don't care if we lose this. I want to use the Dunsparce. I want to be annoying with Dunsparce. I want to rock slide the Charizard. I want to do lots of fun things here, you know? Okay. So I ended up going Regieleki Charizard, um, a play I don't quite agree with. As I should always be able to get off my Trick Room. Yeah, I guess I'll just fake out here. More than likely... Oh, they Dynamax the Aleki. Um, that shouldn't prevent my Trick Room, I don't think. Unless they have Blast Burn, that actually might do it. Let's see if they got it. They do, but it did not prevent it. Silly goose. Okay. Yeah, they're just gonna fort it there, dude. Like honestly, you tried to pull one out. You tried to pull one over on me. You tried to go for the <laughs> the Dynamax Regieleki into Blast Burn, thinking that would stop me. Nah, man. Bulky Mimikyu is the best Mimikyu. Okay. So we got uh, Kyogre Eternatus. I'm more of a, a Sun Eternatus fan. If you get, as you guys know, one of my most successful teams this year, the one that got me to the top 100 in the ladder, uh, was Groudon Spex Eternatus, and I still think that's a really good team. But this team hates Calyrex Ice, and it also hates Dunsparce. Like it doesn't have anything slower than it. And if I get it on, if I get it in under Trick Room, it's gonna be a rough time for them. So let's go for the easy Trick Room setup, and let's uh, bring Calyrex Ice and Dunsparce. I just want to get one game where I start spamming Rock Slides and Screech, you know. All right. Yeah, he's really taking his time. I mean, they don't have a way to stop the Trick Room unless they lead off like Incineroar and Whimsicott. Um, maybe then they can, no, they can't. They really can't. <laughs> they really can't stop it. Um, are they gonna do the same thing? Are they gonna like Dynamax the, the, the Regieleki and try to like get me like that? I kind of want to call it, but it's really not safe to call it. We'll just 
go for the standard play. Could also Dynamax the Kyogre. Like, that's also an option here. No? Okay. Well, they prevented the Trick Room. Unfortunately, they did indeed prevent the Trick Room. Uh, is this doable? This is doable. This is technically like my only out, somehow getting a Trick Room off with the Calyrex. No? Good game. Alright, good game. That's a little bit annoying on lead, just having to call that. Uh, maybe next time I'm just gonna fake out not Reggie like he is. I'm 0 for 2 on calling that at this point. <laughs> But yeah, uh, this is interesting. Uh, we see Zekrom and Calyrex Shadow. This team hates like just Incineroar in general. I know we're playing super linearly today, but honestly, like it's it just works. It's it's gonna end up working, especially versus this. Yeah, like what I say. Like, <sighs> remember how people keep leading off Regieleki, and I keep saying I'm gonna fake out the thing next to it, but I don't. Um. This is a situation where that might be really bad, but I'm actually going to go for the Shadow Sneak and the Snarl here. Because they should just be attacking the Mimikyu, and I just want damage. Yeah. Okay, uh, so now I should be able to get off the Trick Room. Just not in an ideal way. Actually, maybe I just Dynamax. To be honest, I might just Dynamax and um, go for like Helping Hands with the, <laughs> with the uh, Dunsparce. It's amazing how many people's game plan for beating, um, how many people's game plan for beating Mimikyu is literally just Dynamaxing a Regieleki. Yeah, we'll do that. As they missed their Bolt Strike, it wouldn't have KO'd me anyways unless they were Choice Banded. Nice. And uh, both the Restrictives are down, the Regieleki's uh, offensive stats are absolutely garbage at this point. And they're going to forfeit. Sick. Sick. 1370? Are we going to hit 1400s today while I'm like half asleep? That'd be kind of funny. That would be kind of funny. You know what's, what is also funny? You know what's also a little funny, silly goose story? This is how I used to like always commentate my videos. Like way back in the day, like I had no energy to record and I thought just being very flat was super, super cool because uh, I was an edgy teenager and it was just like, hey, we're, we're using this team and it's and it's bad and I'm Marcos and, and I'm bad at the game. <laughs> and that was like my whole thing. Um, this is kind of weird. Uh, I want to lead off Incineroar and Mimikyu like usual because they have so many physical attackers, but then I have to be careful with the... Um, with the Zapdos here. I suppose a Mimikyu lead isn't bad then. I definitely still want to bring the Incineroar, but... Man, do I lead off with it? I'm going to lead off with it. Eventually, this is going to work out. Guarantee we're going to be able to do the thing. They're not going to lead off with their Zapdos. They're only 1317. Granted, that's not like a low rating, but, you know, maybe, maybe they'll be like, nah. Nah, I'm too scared of the, uh... <laughs> I'm too scared of the Kyogre, I guess. You know, maybe maybe they think I'm Scarf Ogre and I'm, I'm going to watch out them. I almost never bring the Amoongus to this team. I got no idea why. As good as Amoongus is, I always feel it's like super underwhelming when I use it. Turn on the timer here. They're really taking their time. They're like, dang, is that a Dunsparce, man? I really don't want to lose to a Dunsparce today. By the way, how are you guys feeling uh, the VGC lore videos? You enjoying them? You think they're fun? I've been liking making them. You know, they're quick. They're easy to produce. Um, and it's fun just sharing little tidbits of information from old formats gone by, you know? Why well, they really, really don't want to pick their Pokemon, do they? They're really taking their time. There we go. I was going to say it like that. That was a... That was an adventure. Okay. So, on the bright side, I always get off Trick Room. 
Like, there's no way they stop me. Yeah, no. Trick room, fake out. Unless they're, like, quick guard, they don't prevent the fake out. And even then, like, they don't attack the Mimikyu with two Pokemon. And then I can go for just a, a Will-O-Wisp burn on the, on the Zapdos and be done with that. Dang, dude, you might run out of time. <laughs> He's just thinking, like, how do I prevent this trick room? Uh, well, you don't lead off with this. I think Incineroar... Yeah, I was going to say Incineroar on lead probably was the best way of stopping that. Um, let's go for the Wisp here. On the Zacian. And... I'll also just attempt a parting shot in the Incineroar. I want to get a KO with the Dunsparce cheese, so uh, we're going to do something kind of interesting in a second. But yeah, uh, burning the Zacian is going to be great. Parting shotting here was meant to call that pretty much. Um, I'll be able to get him my Calyrex. Yep, they just go for the Darkest Lariat. And here, um, I should be able to go for my side Shadow Sneak play. I think they're going to switch out the Zacian, to be honest. So maybe what I'll do here is I'll Will-O-Wisp it. And I'll go for the Quake on the Incineroar. Probably won't KO. Because, um, you know, it's not boosted. But, uh, yeah, I was going to say, it's just safer to go for the burn on that slot in case they do end up deciding to try to KO me. And I think this turn is actually a pretty decent opportunity to get in the Dunsparce. As it is pretty um, defensive, I'll be able to go for Yawns and stuff uh, against Pokemon like Radon. Um, and I still have an opportunity to KO this Venusaur. Ye Am I more concerned with the Venusaur? I think actually I'm more concerned with this Zapdos now. And that's just because Zapdos could actually, like, annihilate my, like, entire team. And Venusaur may even switch. Also, we've confirmed that there's no Groudon in the back. Which is kind of interesting. Even though it's, like, really weak to Calyrex plus Kyogre, um, you'd think that they would bring it for the Venusaur. As they do switch, and now I can go for the funny play. Now I can go for the funny play. <clears throat> Here's the venue. Um, yeah, so Zacian can't defend this turn. It can only go for a protect, and I'm at plus two, and there's hail on the field, so... I have a pretty good feeling plus two max quake behind protect like it's probably not going to take it too well especially with the helping hand so dunsparce is about to put in some work go ahead and protect you know i know you're gonna yeah there's the protect this is gonna do like at least 70 right yeah there we go and there's still a couple of turns of hail so this thing's gone this thing did not get a chance to play did not pass go did not collect 200 dollars Go for the rock slide here, and I'll get in my Incin. Actually, there's no reason to switch out Calyrex. Because I'm just going to get Incineroar in versus the Venusaur and win anyways. So I'll go ahead and let them take my, my Calyrex there. They go for the Earth Power, does like nothing versus plus one special defense done sparse. I'll get my Incineroar in here, and we will be going for the Screech into the Venusaur as well as the Fake Out here. Because I want to try to get a KO with Rock Slide. <laughs> and Zacian's pretty much gone at the end of the turn. I also still haven't eaten my Figgy Berry. I think I can optimize the spread. 
Figgy Berry is gonna activate a lot sooner if I, um, where is it, VGC 2022? It would activate a lot sooner if my HP was even. Not a lot sooner, but you know, <laughs> it doesn't round down then. I'll fix that later. I just realized that I had 195 max. All right, and the goggles saved me. Uh, let's go ahead and just go for the, let's go for the Screech, why not? <laughs> let's go for the Screech and the Flare Blitz. Did they ever Dynamax? They never did. They just decided not to, I guess. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know why you wouldn't. Okay. Now this one looks like a funny Dunsparce game. We're both going for Trick Room, uh, but I'm going to be far more annoying than they will. Especially on the turn they try to set up the Trick Room. It's going to be a nightmare for them. Uh, we'll actually bring Kyogre and Calyrex here, and I think my last Mon is going to be the Incineroar. And Dunsparce plus Kyogre on lead is going to be really, really annoying as they actually end up leaving the game. Please join. <laughs> Please join. This is going to be a fun one. There's no way they left on purpose. I was going to say, with a rank of 1491, you probably care enough not to leave a game. Like, it's not super high, but it's like high enough where they're probably not leaving for no reason. All right. There's uh, Dialga Regieleki. Honestly, this lead wasn't as fire as I thought it would be. It was not. Um, but I should be able to Dynamax to tank a hit. And KO this thing. I'll try it. I may even actually prevent a Trick Room. I'm not preventing a Trick Room. The area impulse me. They quake, but Dunsparce is just far too thick. Alright. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and yawn this Dialga now. I think that's probably in my best interest. I should tank another one of those. Yeah. Go for the yawn here. And I'll get in my Incin. As long as I don't get the high roll. Oh, no, they uh, they go for a stab move, which I suppose is another way of dealing with that. Go Kyogre here. Let me just... Should be able to go for a... Parting shot into you. Get in my... Calyrex. Yeah, and you'll tank that. And they should be going for this into the Kyogre. Alright, nice. Still have a turn of rain. Yes, they have like some boosts, but I'm pretty confident just Water Spout into Glacial Lance is my best play. As this is probably like one of the highest damage combinations you could do in the game. It, I, it, like, yeah, the Water Spout's going to bounce off a of Dialga, but I'm still going to be chunking it with the Glacial Lance. And I'll probably end up getting a Weakness Policy in the process. And I'm also guaranteed faster than Amoongus here. Yeah, their, uh, their options for this are pretty limited. Maybe like Protect Trick Room. But then they leave themselves open on the next turn. Yeah, they're just going to give me the Calyrex Ice pretty much. Calyrex Ice should go down here. As they do go for the Trick Room. All right, and there is no reason for me not to get in my Incineroar and protect here. I just have to stall at the Trick Room. Let's see if they call that. They go for the Steel Beam, hello? Dude, you were just gonna KO yourself? And you take damage, that was so weird. Okay, um, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Uh, let me, I'm going to do this. Ooh, was that a throw? That might've been a throw. That might've been a throw.
I'm gonna go for Origin Pulse Glacial Lance. I'm not gonna protect, because um, if my Calyrex does wake up this turn, I should win. Yeah, and they're just gonna go for the Steel Beam play again. So I wanna chunk them in range where I might be able to win. Yeah, and that should be in range of a Water Spout. Does Ice Beam do more? No, Water Spout in the rain does more. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Steel Beam was interesting, but um, that game kind of woke me up. <laughs> I won't lie, that game kind of woke me up. I was like, hello, Steel Beam? Yeah, uh, that's that's interesting. Um, I can definitely see like the Palm Puff helping out there a lot. Okay, we'll probably just do one more match. This guy's ranked 1500, that's pretty high. Um... I'd like for Dunsparce to do more this game. Under Trick Room, he can really be annoying, so we're going to go for it. Win or lose, I'm just going to do the funny Dunsparce thing and hope for the best. Okay. Uh, yikes. So, if you're not aware... If you're not aware how this works... I'm kind of screwed either way. If I fake out the Kyogre, I get one shot through Disguise because of uh, Sunsteel Strike's passive. And if I fake out the Solgaleo and it Dynamaxes, I still lose my Mimikyu. So I'm going to fake out the Solgaleo and it works out. Awesome. Get my Trick Room off. Poggers. And I'm going to be really, really, really annoying now. By clicking Rock Slide and Will-O-Wisp. Please burn. And flinch the Kyogre, please. Nice. There's the burn. My mailbox goes insane with a lot of notifications. Alright, it's time. It's time. Check this out. This is the game we were looking for. I'm going to go for the Max Quake into the Kyogre. But I'm also going to go ahead and Screech it. Hopefully we land... Screech misses. Thank you, I guess. And uh, we probably just lose now. <laughs> we uh, disappointedly probably just lose now. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much that Screech would have mattered, but it definitely would have helped out quite a bit. Let me just try to crit through this. No, good game. <laughs> good game, good game. GG. All right. I'll call it there. Uh, that is that is my cue to go to sleep, and that is your cue to leave a like and subscribe. Apologies that this is more of a tired video. You guys understand how it is with the daily content grind while you're still in college, but yeah. I actually got a call back from a job recently, and uh, I might be interviewing with them soon, so wish me luck. Have a nice night. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.